In this video, we are looking at how you can sync tasks or any database item from one database to another one and keep those in sync whenever properties are updated. So this can be a useful use case if you want to, for example, share tasks with an external partner while also retaining all your tasks in a master database. Okay, let's say you have this use case where you want to sync some tasks with external partners. So you manage all your tasks in internal database, but some of the tasks need to be shared with external partners and you do not want those external partners to see your internal tasks. So this is the use case that is applicable in the application that I'm sharing in this video. And I'm sharing one approach. There can be different approaches using external tools or not using external tools. This approach is using only native automations in Notion, which are available on paid plans. So keep this in mind. That's a use case. And as of today, what we know is that it is not possible to partially share a database, meaning that if you have an internal database of tasks and you want an external user or guest to see only a part of that database, this is not really possible right now without sharing the whole database with that external user. So that's the first limitation that we have. Second limitation that we have is it is not possible to automatically share specific pages with the users. So you know that in Notion there is the share menu on any page, whether it be in a database or in a standalone page. And currently the share menu is not accessible via automation, whether it be natively or via the API. It is not accessible as of now. So that's another limitation. And so that's why we can't solve this use case using these two approaches here. That would be possibly useful, but unrealistic right now. So on the positive side of things instead, we know that it is currently possible to create native automations that sync tasks across related databases. That's a possibility and it comes with its trade-offs. In particular, we can't sync page content, meaning that if you include page content in the task that you want to sync with the external partners, that page content can't be copied over and synced unless you create a manual synced block after the copy has been created. I can explain this better later. And the second thing that you need to know is that we can't sync comments, meaning if the external partner will make a comment on the task page that's accessible by them, that comment will show up only on the shared task and not on your internal task. So with this in mind, let's look at how to implement this use case. In this example, say we want to sync tasks. We have an internal task database called all tasks and this database contains all of our internal tasks and then there is a separate database named partner tasks that you can see here and this database has only those tasks that we share with the external partner so these are separate databases so what we do is we add a relation property between all tasks and partner tasks so to do that if we look at the all tasks database in here, one of the properties that I added is a relation property to the partner task database. The way I did that is by creating a new property and then using a relation type and then selecting the destination database, meaning the partner tasks. Then I renamed this synced task just to make it clearer. And then I also turned on limit and two way relation. So I can show you here how it is set up. There is a limit of one page because one internal task will only have one partner task at most. Sometimes this would be empty because we do not want to sync all our internal tasks to the partner tasks. Two-way relation means that the relation property will also show up in the partner task database and that property will be called internal task. So we can reference the internal task from the partner task. Copy. This is necessary so that we can keep these two tasks in sync when something is updated. Okay, now we have the relation property. And the next step is to add a button automation. That's one way to do this, okay? There are also other ways, but for this example, I'm gonna use a button. So let's say whenever I want to sync a task from my internal database to the partner database, I want to click a button that is called sync to partner. So this is a button property and it contains an automation. The automation adds a page to the partner task database. The name is this page name, which I mapped by clicking on add this page name that's what i did and then the internal task which is the relation property is this page so i mapped it from here 
so that we establish a relation between the internal task and the partner task. And this allows us in the future to sync updates across these two tasks. Then I also map the assignee. So the assignee, I did this page in here from the property menu, this page, dot, which allows me to access properties from the internal task, assignee, so that the same assignee is retained in the external task that's being created. Same for due date, same for status. And that's it. That's what the automation does. So when I click this button, the automation will create a new task in the partner tasks database. Let's test it out. So let's say I have a task, task A. Assignee will be me. Due date will be next week. Status not started. I'm going to sync to partner. Okay. Creating one task. I can see here the relation has been populated. And this also acts as a confirmation that the button worked. So as a user, if I like, I can just open this external task. And I would see the same entry in the partner task database. So let's open this in full screen. This is the partner task database. Same as any. And you can see here, if I click on the three dots, I can see the internal task. But I can only see this because I have access to the internal task database. As a partner, because I do not have access to the internal task database, I will not see this entry here. So keep that in mind. Okay, so now the task was created and synced. It is part of the partner task database and it looks good. Let's go to the final step. Let's assume that we want to keep these two tasks in sync. So if the partner updates the status to done, I want to know in the internal task database that it is done. So to do that, I will add a database automation in partner tasks. This automation looks like this. Whenever there is a property edited, any property edited in the partner task, then we define a variable. This is one of the steps available in Notion automations. You can do add action define variable and the variable is called internal task and the variable is a formula that takes the trigger page meaning the partner task and maps the internal task property that's a relation property and so the output of this variable will be a page and the page is the internal task that's linked to the partner task that's being updated so then we add an additional action that is edit pages in and when i do that i can map the internal task variable because that's a page so notion recognizes that because that's a page i can actually update it directly and what i update in this case is a status by mapping the trigger pages status and the due date by mapping trigger pages due date i can also add these additional properties that will depend on your use case in this case i'm just gonna keep these two and then you can play around with what you need specifically so now let's say as a user i'm gonna update this to done and if the automation works well, the internal task should be updated to done as well. As you can see, indeed, that was the case. And this concludes the video. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, let me know in the comments down below. You will find relevant links in the description of this video. And feel free to get in touch if you want any help with implementing your custom digital systems for yourself or for your team. See you soon.